Hi guys, and welcome back to day two of the seven day jungle themed yoga challenge. I'm Barbara Massa, and I'll be walking you through today's practice. Now, today's flow was inspired by the local monkeys here at Escalera's Escape, the howlers and the capuchins. So today we'll be focusing on elongating those limbs and creating space within the body. We'll be playing into our balance and learning how to take some chances and just have a little fun. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a beautiful practice. I'll meet you on your mat. We'll start in a comfortable seat, Japanese style at the top of your mat. Staying here for a couple of breaths, shoulders roll down the back, hands can rest on the knees or be in prayer in front of the chest. Closing down the eyes here, as we hook into that yoga zone. We'll take a deep breath all together and exhale, letting it go. Releasing any thoughts that may arise and letting them wash away like the ocean. Go ahead and drop that right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale here and exhale, rolling it over left ear coming towards the left shoulder. We'll inhale here and exhale, neck rolls over to the right. Inhale, exhale, roll. Inhale, exhale, roll. We'll take an inhale here and exhale, head rolls over to the left. We'll take an inhale here and exhale, head can come back to the center. On an inhale, arms sweep out and up, palms together, maybe looking up. And exhale, hands come down in front of the chest. Take your right hand out to the side, left arm sweeps all the way up and over. Nice side bend through the left side body. Seeing if you can rotate the left side chest up towards the sky. We'll inhale here and exhale, releasing. On an inhale, switching sides. Left hand comes out, right arm sweeps out and up. Right side of the chest rotates up towards the sky. We'll inhale here and exhale, releasing. Coming into an all fours position. Shoulders stacked above the wrists, hips over the heels. And we'll go for a couple rounds of cat-cow. So on an inhale, belly drops, looking up. Exhale, curl and round the spine, looking up at your navel. Inhale, belly drops, chest lifts. Exhale, curl and round. Moving with your breath. Inhale, belly drops, looking up. Heart shines forward. Exhale, belly to spine, curling it in. Last one. Inhale, belly drops, looking up. And exhale, curl and round. Coming back through tabletop, go ahead and reach that right leg all the way out behind you. On an inhale, lift the toes off the mat and extend your left arm straight out in front of you for a spinal balance. On an inhale, those limbs stretch out in opposite directions and bring it together, elbow to knee touch on the exhale. Inhale, limbs stretch long. And exhale, elbow to knee touch, firing up the core. Last one, inhale, arm and leg reach long in opposite directions. And exhale, elbow to knee touch, curling it in. Inhale, stretch everything long and strong. And exhale, hand and knee, rest gently back on the mat. Finding your center here. On an inhale, the left leg plugs back to the back of the mat. And on an inhale, toes come up parallel to the mat. Right arm reaches out in front of you. We'll find our balance here. Inhale, limbs reach long. Exhale, curl it in, elbow to knee touch. Inhale, everything reaches long. Exhale, curl it in. 
Last one. Inhale, reach. And exhale, elbow to knee touch. We'll inhale everything out long and strong. And exhale, releasing back down to the mat. From here, go ahead and tuck the toes, lift the hips, and press back. Downward facing dog. Your first down dog of the practice. So feel free to pedal out the feet here, shifting the weight from one foot to the other, taking your dog on a little walk, opening up the hamstrings and opening up the back of the legs. Just doing whatever feels right for you and your body. On an inhale, go ahead and traction the hips up towards the sky, pressing into the hands. Maybe the knees are bent here. And exhale, walk the feet up to meet the hands. Grab onto opposite elbow, finding ragdoll. Shifting the weight from side to side. Releasing any tension you might be holding in the back of the neck and the shoulders. Shaking the head yes, and nodding it no. On an inhale, hands come to the shins, chest lifts, flat back. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. On an inhale, put a bend into the knees and one vertebrae at a time, rising to a standing position, arm sweep out and up. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the chest. Inhale, arm circle, maybe a small back bend if it's there for you. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. Inhale, hands to shins, shoulders roll down the back, flat back. And exhale, hands to the mat, stepping back through a plank and lowering down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Knees can come to the mat here to modify. And we'll go for a couple cobras. So inhale, lifting the chest, baby cobra. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, chest lifts, heart shines forward. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, and press back. Downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale. On an inhale, hips reach. Exhale, step or jump light. Top edge of the mat. We'll inhale, hands come to the shins for flat back. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. On an inhale, arm circle, root to rise, looking up if the neck allows. Exhale, hands to heart center. On an inhale, arm circle, maybe a small back bend. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Knowing you can skip these at any time throughout the practice. We'll inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, releasing it out. On an inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands, placing the weight into your left hand. Right wing peels open for a twisted lunge. An option to stay here or option to take that right foot back behind you, lowering the hips and opening up, finding wild thing, taking up as much space as you can here. We'll inhale and exhale, making your way back down into a low lunge. On an inhale, rise to crescent, straightening through the back leg. Plug the back heel towards the back of the mat. Engage through the core. Lengthen out through the crown of the head. Palms face in. Activate through the fingertips. Roll the shoulders down the back. We'll inhale here. And on an exhale, twisting open to the right. That right arm activates towards the back of the mat. The left arm is long out in front of you. We'll take an inhale here and exhale, coming back to crescent. On an inhale, looking up for full expression, and exhale, hands frame the front foot, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. 
We'll inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. And exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, releasing it out. On an inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step up between the hands. Placing the weight into that right hand, left wing peels up, twisted lunge. Option to stay here, or again, option to take that foot out behind you. The hips lower as you rise, finding wild thing, taking up space here. We'll inhale and exhale, making your way back to a low lunge. On an inhale, arms rise, finding crescent. And we'll stay here for a couple of breaths, checking our alignment. So that back heel energizes out towards the back of the mat. Squeeze your inner thighs together. The left leg is parallel to the mat and the shoulders roll down the back. Palms facing one another. We'll inhale here. And on an exhale, twisting open to the left. That right arm comes out in front of you. The left arm is energizing towards the back of the mat. We'll inhale here. And exhale, moving back to crescent. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky, looking up for full expression. And exhale, hands frame the front foot, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. We'll inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. And exhale, pressing back. Downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, open the mouth, sigh it out. On an inhale, hips traction up towards the sky. Exhale, step or jump light, top edge of the mat. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. On an inhale, arm circle, root to rise, maybe looking up at those hands and exhale, hands to prayer in front of the chest. On an inhale, arm circle, maybe a small back bend. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. Inhale, hands to shin, flat back, feeling into the repetition. And exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. We'll inhale, cobra, maybe up dog, heart shines forward. Exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here and exhale, releasing it out. On an inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step up between the hands. We'll rise to crescent on the inhale and exhale, twisting open to the right. Inhale, coming back through crescent and opening up to warrior two on the exhale. That front heel is in line with the arch of the back foot. The front knee in line just above the ankle. Go ahead and drop that front thigh so that it's parallel to the mat. The belly is engaged. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears, spreading wide through the chest as both arms extend out energetically in opposite directions, palms face down. Finding your strength here. And on an inhale, flip that front palm, reverse the warrior. And exhale, arms windmill, framing the front foot, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. And exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, releasing it out. On an inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step up between the hands. We'll rise to crescent on the inhale, twisting open to the left, exhale. Coming back through crescent, inhale, and opening up, finding warrior two, exhale. Shoulders roll down, away from the ears, creating space there. Fingertips energize out in opposite directions. Left toes are pointed directly ahead, with the knee aligned just over the ankle. Drop the front thigh so that it's parallel to the mat and firm the outer edge of that back foot into the floor with the toes pointed slightly ahead. On an inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior painting the sky and exhale, arm circle moving through your vinyasa. 
We'll inhale Cobra, maybe up dog, your back bend variation, and exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here, and exhale. Now we're going to repeat that same flow, moving with our breath. So on an inhale, hips reach, exhale, step or hop light, top edge of the mat. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arm circle, root to rise, maybe looking up, and exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, arms move, maybe a gentle back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chest lifts, feeling into the repetition. And exhale, stepping back, moving meditation. Inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. And exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. Rise to crescent on the inhale. Opening up to the right, exhale. Coming back through crescent, inhale. And opening up, finding warrior two, exhale. Flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. And windmill the arms, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. We'll inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. We'll rise to crescent on the inhale and twisting open to the left, exhale. Inhale, coming back through crescent. Exhale, opening up, finding warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. And exhale, moving through your vinyasa. We'll inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, releasing it out. On an inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, jump, or float up to Malasana. Feet come to the outside edges of your hands, hips lower down to the ground. Elbows come to the inside of the knees, and the hands are at heart center. Using the elbows to press the knees apart. Opening up here and creating space within the hips. And we'll find that breath again. Inhale. Exhale. Now option to stay here, or if you'd like, Crow Pose is here for you. So plant the hands, fingers spread nice and wide. Come up onto the toes, lift the kneecaps into the underarms or as high up onto the arms as you can. And then keeping the arms as straight as possible, shift some weight forward, rocking back and forth. Now, I don't want you to shift forward unless you are comfortable here. So start to tilt forward, bringing some weight over the wrists and the fingertips, maybe lifting up one foot or the other foot. And if you're feeling safe, you can go ahead and lift up both feet off the ground. And if both feet are off the ground, make sure you're looking forward, as far forward as you possibly can. We'll inhale here, hold for the exhale, and coming back into Malasana. Hands come together in prayer. Inhale, lifting through the chest. And exhale. Bring the hands to the mat. Straighten through the knees and heel toe the feet back to hip width. Inhale to a flat back. And exhale, forward fold over the legs. On an inhale, arm circle, root to rise. And exhale, hands in prayer in front of the chest. We'll go for tree pose. So shift the weight into the left foot. Sole of the right foot comes to the inner thigh of that standing leg or anywhere below the knee if you can't bring it above the knee. Root that standing foot into the floor as you lift through the inner arch to firm the thigh and engage the quadriceps. 
If you're comfortable here, go ahead and sweep the arms overhead, palms face one another. The shoulders roll down the back, keeping that neck nice and long. We'll take an inhale here and exhale. Now option to stay in tree or go ahead and rotate that right knee out in front of you, finding stork pose. You can go ahead and curl the fingertips almost as if you're a monkey hanging from the tree. Now option to stay in stork or option to do as a capuchin and take flight. Right leg shoots behind you parallel to the mat, toes flexed as your arms spread wide like wings. On an inhale, energize out through those limbs as if you've just jumped off a tree, reaching out for those branches. Hold for the exhale and slowly move those arms back down to the body and use them for leverage to lift you all the way back up finding stork pose before gracefully landing back into your tree. We'll take an inhale here and exhale, foot releases back down to the mat. Hands are in prayer. Go ahead and place the weight into your right foot this time. Sole of the left foot goes somewhere along the inside of the right leg, avoiding the knee, and we'll balance here. On an inhale, arms can circle up to the sky, palms facing one another. Maybe you wanna go up against a wall for, for some additional support. Good, rooting down through that right standing foot, an option to find some intuitive movements, maybe shifting your hands from side to side. Option to stay in tree, or again, option to bring that lifted knee out in front of you, spreading the limbs out wide and shifting forward as you fly. Arms energize out in opposite directions, creating space between the shoulder blades. The chest is wide reaching those limbs out long and strong. We'll inhale here, hold for the exhale, and go ahead and slowly bring those arms back into the side body before swinging back up, knee to the chest, and landing gracefully back into a tree pose. We'll inhale here, and exhale, hands to prayer and foot back down to the mat. On an inhale, put a bend into the knees and circle the arms up, finding chair pose. And slowly bending deeply into the knees and shifting all the way down to the mat, going for a couple of rock and rolls up and down the mat. Bring your knees into your forehead and grab onto the sacrum with the palms of your hands, coming into a little ball. And you can use the knees here to give yourself a little forehead massage if you'd like. Now option to stay here, or if you'd like, go ahead and reach the feet all the way up to the sky, coming into shoulder stand, trying to take the feet up and away from the face. Excellent, now bring your knees back into the forehead before reaching both feet out behind you to the back of the mat, finding plow, or finding plow pose. The arms can interlace and root down into the mat. Feeling into the stretch and maybe going for a dead man's pose, bringing the knees around the ears. And releasing, hug the knees back into the chest, rocking from side to side. Take the feet out wide, maybe the width of the mat, maybe a little wider, and we'll windshield wiper the legs from left to right, dropping them over from side to side, feeling into the twist and releasing any tension into that back. And coming into Shavasana, your final resting pose. If you're used to taking a more narrow Shavasana, feel free to take up a little more space here. Legs can sprawl out to either side of the mat. Arms can be wide like a starfish, as if you have a king-size bed all to yourself. Closing down the eyes and feeling into the space you created within your body over the course of the last 20 minutes. 
just relaxing here and melting into the ground beneath you. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. Option to pause the video and stay here for as long as you'd like. Just enjoying this time of peaceful rest. The recommended Shavasana is anywhere from five to 10 minutes. But if you're ready and willing, you can go ahead and start to bring some small movements back into the body. Maybe rotating the ankles and the wrists. Maybe shifting your head from side to side. And we'll go for a big body yawn. So arms reach out above you, legs stretch out away from you. Bring the knees into the chest and slowly roll your way up to a comfortable seat, bringing the hands in prayer in front of the chest. We'll inhale here and exhale, releasing it out. Hands come to the forehead in front of the third eye space. May you find joy and playfulness within the small moments throughout your day. Hands come to the front of the lips. May you communicate your gratitude towards yourself, your life, and all the people in it. And hands come to the heart center. May you make the best of today, regardless of what happens. I'd like to thank you for showing up today, for sharing your energy with me, and for completing the second day of the seven day jungle themed yoga challenge. Together we say, Namaste.